God gives us many wonderful gifts, such as the ability to speak well, spiritual understanding, or a heart for giving to the needy. As the Apostle Paul worked to spread the good news of Jesus, the church in a place called Corinth began to argue over which gift was the best. Paul wrote to this church to remind them that love is the most important gift of all. In fact, Paul would tell the church of Corinth that without love, every other gift God gives becomes meaningless. Love is the only way to use all other gifts as God intended. Some people are gifted in speaking the truth of God. When people with this magnificent gift are filled with the love of God and speak about what He has done in their lives, their audiences stop and listen. Their words help to teach about Jesus and to open otherwise cold, hard hearts. But without love, these same words are empty and have no meaning. The Apostle Paul said, Without love, a person with this gift is a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. People gifted with spiritual understanding of who God is and His mighty power know what God is capable of and what that means for our lives. People with this gift who are filled with the love of God can confidently face any difficult situation and never fear because they know God is more powerful than anything they may encounter. The Apostle Paul writes that while people with this gift can have a faith that moves mountains without love, such miracles will look like nothing more than cheap magic tricks. God gives some people hearts that care for others. Whether they are giving money, time, or talent, these people are following Jesus' command to love others as Jesus loves us. But Paul explains that if a person gave away everything, including his own life, he gains nothing if it is done without love. Without love, the giving this person does is not meant to help others and glorify God, but is an attempt to show how great the giver is. So, if these powerful and wonderful gifts are nothing without love, what is love? Paul explains that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous of what other people have, and it does not brag or act proud. Love is not rude, selfish, or quick-tempered. Love doesn't keep a list of all the wrong or bad things everyone has ever done. Love does not find happiness in evil things, but is delighted by the truth. Ultimately, love is outward, giving, and selfless. It's no coincidence that these descriptions of love also describe Jesus. Jesus is love. Paul explained how temporary these gifts are using the example of a child growing up. When children mature into adults, they can see life as bigger than themselves and their own personal needs. According to Paul, on earth, we are like children. We can only see part of the picture. But in heaven, we will have an understanding that is perfect and true. In heaven, we will fully grow up in Christ. Love is so important for us to focus on because of all the magnificent gifts God gives us, love is eternal. Love is at the heart of everything God does and asks us to do, making it something we should focus our lives on. The love we experience on earth is good, but in the presence of God once we're in heaven, love will not only be felt, but also will be seen. When we see the face of God, we will truly know what love is.